Okay, alright family, I came on right quick to make this video um, for two ladies, for Salima and for Dolly. Um, first with Sir Salima, I'm going to call you Serena girl, Salima. Okay, with Salima, Mama, bam. These are mine, um, but they're purple. And I wanted the pink ones. I just got them, and so, uh, like I was telling you guys yesterday that I was going to show you guys um, my cute little um, shoes, and there we go. I just got to get the toes in there, right? And they are good. They are so comfortable. Can you see? Okay, and they have, like, the individual toes to them and they're just good they're good but the thing is for me is I prefer to have see I prefer to have pink and black as opposed to the purple and black um so here's um my box um I got a size 10 and they're for gravel water mountains Grass, mud, trees, rock, and pavement, dirt. They're made by Fila. So, Mama, um, my question to you is, did yours come out purple or do you have the pink and black? Um, if they come in purple, I think I'm going to probably have to go to Fila and see if Fila has them in pink and black. Because if they do have them in pink and black somewhere... I'm not going to wear these, and I'm going to take them back and exchange them for pink and black. As opposed to the purple. So, Mommy, I just wanted to um, come in right quick and show you that I did get my little um, skeletos. And I adore them. They're good. They're comfortable. And all that other kind of stuff. Um, now, to my girl, Doll Lady. I believe that was Doll Lady that left me the comment yesterday. And so she was asking me about black currant vanilla. And um, it is from the Sensual brand. And you guys know that I spray a lot of, I'm into aromatherapy and stuff. And like I spray it on my sheets. This is a pillow spray. Um, and she was asking me had I heard from that, heard of it or if, if I had ever smelt it. And I was saying that I have a lot of bath and body work stuff. And so um, I had to go over there in my little, um, my little smell good section and see if I had it. And I do. And so I have this one. It's about right there. And then this is, this one is Jasmine Vanilla. This one is brand new. And then this one is the one that's always in there on my desk. And this is also jasmine and jasmine vanilla. But this one here is just a clear bottle as, a close, as opposed to this one. I didn't know that um, I ended up buying two of the same thing. I didn't know that. Um, and this one is the Tranquil Mint um, Stress Relief. Um, this one. Um, I also have the rest of the black um, current vanilla um, stuff. Um, but while I was over there, I also found um, another scent that is so, so good. And it is the black raspberry vanilla. And um, I'm such a girly girl. And a lot of my friends and stuff, they would um, give me all kind of perfumes and salves and oils and all that kinds of stuff. And so I ended up... I. Uh, also found the black raspberry vanilla over there. Um, I love their central uh, brand. Their central line. This is off the chain too, mama. But you were telling me that Caress has a dupe for the black currant vanilla. That's all in my mouth. So, anyway, I just wanted to come on right quick and let you ladies know that I got my little shoes. And I had the black currant vanilla. And so I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going between um, the uh, Michael Jackson trial and Wendy just came on at 11. 
So I'm kind of going back and forth with that. Um, and also, I didn't know that Nicole and um, um, Conrad Murray, Dr. Murray, were, I didn't know she had a baby by him. Wow. And what makes it so bad when um, the prosecution was basically letting it be known that Conrad Murray was cheating on Nicole, right? Let me tell y'all how they did it, how slick they was with it. First of all, they had the young lady that he was on the phone talking to when Michael Jackson had coded, right? He was on the phone. He had called this young lady up. They called her up to the stand. She was on the stand first before Nicole, before his, you know, woman that he with now. Now, she got a three-year-old son by, by Conrad, right? So how about the, um, this how messy bitches are. Bitches, I mean... We are some part messy motherfuckers. We are because the prosecution lady, she come with, um, okay, um, uh, at the time of, she, I can't word it verbatim as to how she worded it, but Dr. Murray had called this young lady. First, they were text messaging each other back and forth. Then they called each other. That's when they showed on his, um, phone records that he was on the phone. He was on the phone with his other sister, right? He was on the phone with his sister. I can't, I don't know who her name was, because I know who she was, but I know who Nicole is just in the entertainment business and all that. I, you know, I've been in her company. I know who she is, but I didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so how about uh, the prosecution, uh, the prosecutor going to say, okay, well, were you aware, uh, were you and Mr. Murray in a relationship at this time? She was like, well, I met him and, you know, we have been talking and this and that and the other. She said, well, are you aware that he also had a, a living girlfriend at the time? The young lady said, no, she didn't know. Y'all, it was foul. It was foul. So after, after she got done with old girl, she was like, the, the sister was like, well, um, he had, just got off the phone abruptly, and I didn't know what was going on, but I can hear, like, you know, like, um, talking, like, kind of in the background and heavy breathing and stuff. That's when he had put his, apparently he had put his phone in his pocket. He didn't hang up from her. He had just put his phone in her in his pocket, and he was trying to resuscitate Michael Jackson, and she can hear him, you know, giving him um, respirations, right? Y'all, I mean, oh my God, that shit was so fucking messy. It was messy, fucking messy. I was like, oh my God. So when Nicole came and got on the stand, she was like, okay, well, how long have you been with uh, Dr. Murray and blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, well, I've been with him a couple years and this and that. And so she was like, well, um, you been with him a few years. Are you aware that he was also on the phone with whoop the wop wop whoop at the time of death? She was like, no, I was not aware. Just put, was that not part messy? Then she so iterate the shit by saying, well, how long were you guys living together prior to him working with Michael Jackson? And was he living with you at the time of Michael Jackson's death? So basically what she letting this bitch know is, yeah, you might have been the living girlfriend or whatever, but he had also met this other sister that he was trying to get up with while he was still fucking with you. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. And like I tell you ladies all the time, men don't change their stripes. They simply change where they feed. And so you cannot, again, ladies, cannot make a man be faithful. That is something that he has to get on his own. It's something that clicks in him that he be like, okay, well, she's worthy for me to be faithful to. That's something that they got to get. I don't give a damn how platinum you think your pussy is. If if he if if he don't want to be faithful, he's just not going to be. You can cook all the best meals. You can dress all this and that. You can look like whatever. That's not going to make a man be faithful. It is something that he has to get up here for him to change the mindset of, uh, of the foolishness. For him to settle down and be like, okay, well, she's worth me, you know, giving all of myself unto her. But that was fucked up. I just had to uh, mention that right quick. I know I'm on some whole other shit right now, but 
Anyway, Skeletto's uh, size 10 black currant vanilla. On that note, family deuces, I love you guys to death. I'm still in the midst of cooking and all, so I shall talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye-bye.